Today is the official start of hurricane season, and experts already predicting an above average season. We have volcanoes, we got hurricanes. Yes, we do. <laughs> CBS 17's Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer has what you can expect and what lawmakers on Capitol Hill have to say about federal agencies being ready for those storms. June 1st marks the start of what's expected to be a busy 2021 hurricane season. So the outlook does call for an above normal season. Matthew Rosencrans, a leading hurricane expert at NOAA, says there could be as many as 20 named storms this season. That includes six to ten hurricanes and potentially three to five major hurricanes, category three or higher. But the good news. So we are not expecting it to be as average as active as 2020. Here at FEMA headquarters in Washington, I'm told they have over 21,000 employees on hand. They've already had a busy year responding to both the pandemic and migrant surge. I know they're stretched. I know they're stretched because of what's going on in the southern border. Florida Republican Senator Rick Scott says he wrote a letter to FEMA asking if the agency is ready. He says it hasn't responded yet. So I'm going to do everything I can to continue to get them ready. We're going to be on that one yard line making sure that they're ready to answer the bill in the case of, uh, of need for the people of Louisiana. Louisiana Democratic Congressman Troy Carter says he wants to make sure FEMA has the support it needs to help communities in the storm's path. Um, particularly a place like Louisiana that uh, has suffered a great deal with, with flooding and hurricanes. Hurricane season extends through November, but peak season runs from August to October. Rosencrantz says that means people have some time to prepare. Being that we're not seeing activity now, it's take the time to prepare now. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer.